Hey everybody, Steam Genie here, and welcome to Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. So I have to record this mad old school as fuck, where I have to record the audio separately with a different microphone, because I'm having trouble with my Xbox 360 being hooked up to my capture card right now. So I have to have a separate microphone capturing the audio, and I'm currently using my Logitech headset, which is why I probably sound like dog dick. I'm using the Shure SM7B to pick up the game audio. Uh, and it's so loud I can barely hear myself think, let alone talk comfortably. Why am I doing this? I don't know, but we're just jumping right into it. Because I haven't done Banjo-Tooie in so long that I've actually just decided to jump ahead to the third game. And the only reason I'm even doing this is because I've been playing Tears of the Kingdom, and, uh, yeah, I've just been reminded about how much it feels like this game. <laughs> like, it really does. Like, I can't be the only one that feels this way. But then again, I'm the only one who probably remembers this game. <laughs> you know, uh... <laughs> Fuck you, Rareware! Yeah, that's right, we're starting it off by cursing. We are not getting monetized today. No siree, Bob. Alright, here we are in classic old Spiral Mountain, where there's vines on Grunty's face. time, there lived a heroic bear I actually forgot Panther. that there was voice there acting to this. a loud those. bird called Kazooie, and an unpleasant witch called Gruntilda. When Banjo's sister was kidnapped, the bear and bird rescued her from the depths of the witch's lair. Yeah, it there was an actually good game. speech impediments to send Gruntilda tumbling to her doom. But she was nothing if not persistent, and surprising nobody, the old hag soon rose from her grave. Corrupt. Gotta love Banjo Tooie, the best Banjo Kazooie game that they offer. I don't know why it's in crappy standard though. Who really should have quit while she was ahead. Okay, that's weird. Years have passed, and peace reigns in Spiral Mountain. So what became of the bear, the bird, and the witch? Is that Conker? Fights, old hag. What did you expect? This is Banjo and Kazooie. Why am I playing this game? I don't know. Like I said, I was just feeling it. I like how the beginning of this game starts. They're literally just like, why are we playing this game? Literally, that's how this game starts. It starts with it just being like, why are we playing this game at all? Pretty used to Banjo being this fat, though. Hey, look, they finally implemented a compass in this game. Oh, I like how good the camera feels. Oh, I forgot the X button is different on the, on the Xbox 360 controller. Uh, Bottles Grave. Rest in peace, Bottles. Banjo and Kazooie's mole associate tragically died here in 2000, but managed to rise from the dead about a week later. Uh, just like our Lord and Savior. Uh, okay, uh, wait. I thought there was more... I thought there was more to read. It says one out of three. But... Okay, I guess that's it, though. Well, I do appreciate how large Banjo is. That's cool. <laughs> Literally, this game starts with all the main characters being tired and fried and broken. Oh, yeah, they don't talk. Ooh. 
Greetings, oh second-rate game characters. Who are you? My title is the Lord of Games, but you has can call me L.O.G. I am the grand creator of all video games. Even ones that don't sell very well, like Ghoulies. Reference to their own game. Your name is Odd and you look a bit queer. So tell old Grunty, what brings L.O.G. here? I come to settle your differences. Cliched crone, you will play a challenge of my choice. To the winner goes Spiral Mountain. To the loser, an eternity of toil in my video game factory. This sounds like a preposterous ruse. What will you do if we refuse? Oh dear. I wish they could stay like this, but I suppose you people would actually like to take part in this game. You can just tell that Rare is completely done with Banjo-Kazooie at this point. And they know that they've become like a second-rate developer. They just want to shoot things, but as we're broadening the demographic, I'll have to think of something original. God, they're really just like... Damn, they really just hate their own characters so much. As the Italian gentleman, correct? They're literally just satirizing how much they have not... Like, how much Banjo has failed in terms of, like, trying to build their brand into being like Nintendo. It's so sad. Why would they do this? This is... This is why, like, nobody really fucked with this game, because they could just tell that Rare didn't care anymore. It's just like, oh yeah, you defeated Grunty, but we're just gonna put her head in like an anima animatronic body. <laughs> they were rather outdated anyway. What is wrong with Rareware? Why would they make this kind of game, bro? Why not just give us Banjo and Kazooie the way we wanted it? Honestly, high key think they just wanted to make Banjo Kazooie Grand Theft Auto in a way, but they knew that they had to stay within some sort of realm. So when I was a kid and I bought this game, or rather when my father bought this game uh, for me on the uh, Xbox 360, this was the first game. So I had gotten an Xbox 360 and this game, which is pretty ironic because I have my Nintendo 64 on top of my Xbox 360 right now, which has Banjo Tooie inside of it. So this is very, very fucking funny that I happen to just have Banjo Tooie on top of my Xbox 360. And we're playing this game. Now, I had actually never gotten further than right here, believe it or not. And uh, maybe like another world, so. Yeah, Banjo, get the hell up. Stupid cunt. Whoops, maybe I shouldn't say that. <laughs> I don't know what to say anymore, man. That looked rather painful. Let's begin, shall we? Welcome to Showdown Town, an area that you don't really know what to do anything in. Honestly, like, the original Banjo-Kazooie was already so confusing to me as a kid. Like, I had no idea what to do in this game. the Jiggy Bank, and more doors will be open to you. Uh, open the final door, return to Spiral Mountain. Yeah, honestly, I was never the best reader, to be perfectly honest. Oh. 
How do we play your daft game when you've stolen my abilities? <laughs> A damn cat! It's just, you could tell in this game that Rare Wars, like, hey, we did it, we made Banjo and Kazooie. You know? We're not happy that we did, but we did. Can't do any of her old ass moves. Wow, it's just like fucking. <laughs> it really is just like Breath of the Wild, isn't it? Yeah, we need all this shit. It's about to say, this is, uh, this is pretty shitty, isn't it? I don't know, it's loading very slowly. It's not like Breath of the Wild, is it? Mumbo's motor is to let heroes build great vehicles to beat ugly Krong Gruntilda. Alright, let's just skip this and uh, get to work, huh? Are you sure you want to quit the tutorial? Yes, because I already know how to play this freaking game. You know what would be great? Playing Banjo-Kazooie, but like, you know, like just collecting jiggies and shit, like... I guess they wanted to be original, they didn't want to rehash the formula again after so many years, like just being as artists and developers, but it's just like, look, as basic Banjo-Kazooie consumers, that's what we fucking needed. Yeah, this control's exactly like, um... Tears of the Kingdom. Wait, how do, how do I flip it? I wasn't reading. Oh, there we go. Left trigger, I see. Press Y. They really expect you to, like, be invested in this game. Okay, pull the right trigger and the left trigger to break. Eh, yeah, this is an okay game, it's whatever. It might seem a trifle old-fashioned collecting notes. Not much use at the moment, find another and you'll be able to travel. Drive your trolley around the bottom of my hill and climb the winding path to my factory so I can get this wonderful, wonderful game properly started. Yeah, I don't think I've ever gotten to this part, really. Take note on your map in the lower right corner as it displays where you're supposed to go. Okay. I'm just collecting some notes in the meantime. Yeah, I don't think I ever got that far, to be honest. I think I just kind of kept driving around. Is that Wumba?
Yeah, the controls are mad awkward. Yeah, but I was a kid when this came out, you know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't know what the hell I was doing. Yeah, I just don't remember ever having actually done this. Like, coming up here. At least the controls are good. They're inverted, though. I don't like that. Oh, shit. Nice. Come on, I really can't use Kazooie like that. What? Come on. That's all I could do, bro. How am I supposed to get those freaking notes? No! Fuck! <laughs> God damn it! Oh my lord. Can I kill him? Oh, what? He could just warp? Dick. I'll kill you! Alright, whatever. What is this music, bro? Oh, there are these game globes that become available when you bank enough jiggies, but as you don't have enough jiggies, so I'll grant you the first game globe for free. Pacing the game globe on its plinth will unlock one of the fabulous game worlds of my creation. Careful not to lose the game globe, otherwise you'll have to come back up here and get another by using the wrench it bolt. Put the game globe in your vehicle, take it to its plinth, and I'll tell you how to win your first jiggy. This really does just feel like Tears of the Kingdom. Wow, did, th did they just steal this from Banjo, Loki? Uh, can we r just ride down this? Fucking A. Oh my god. Like, did they really want this game to achieve, like, mass appeal, or, like, like, what is this about, exactly? Oh, sick. So I need three jiggies, eight jiggies... Thirty-one jiggies? Forty-seven. Okay. Classic banjo homage. I mean, it's only fucking banjo, dude. Like, my god. Oh, I thought you could double jump. You could do this. I don't. I don't know what else to do with that. Uh, Mumbo's garage is over here. It just sucks that you can, like, really barely, like, like, you can't use any of the old movements. That's probably another reason why this game failed so hard, is because you just... You just can't use any of the old movements. It feels so weird. Yes, there we go. Fucking feels like a normal control. I can't believe you have to invert it. Holy crap, this is so loud I can barely hear myself think. Okay. How do you become one of the leading game developers in the world to just making an absolute, like, weird game? Huh? That's what vehicles here are for? I mean, I guess that's true. 
I want to be on foot, though. Because that's the thing, too. It's like when you're in a car and you're driving, you're not playing as Banjo and Kazooie, you know? You're just playing as a car, and I feel like that adds to the uh, lack of appeal, really, too. Uh, excuse me, I have to, uh, actually use the bathroom. This has been quite an interesting experience. I'm definitely just gonna go back to Tears of the Kingdom after this. Oh. Get a whole ass cutscene? Oh, I wish I cared. Alright, I'll be right back, huh? And we're back with another episode of Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Crazies. This place looks like dog shit. I don't even care to read your dialogue. I can't talk to this motherfucker right here. I have to get out of the car that they <laughs> literally want me to be in. I have to get out of it. Who the fuck even is that? Klungo, one of the good guys now. Oh, man, okay. Uh, sure, I guess that's just gonna happen. I don't- I don't even fucking see it. It's not like we have any other cars. Wimp out. Yeah, start game, sure, why not? I mean, low-key, I kind of felt like grinding to go get some different vehicle parts. Oh my god, please! I don't give a fuck right now. I was about to say. That was so stupid. Nice. Oh yeah, you can get one of those things. Oh, whoops. Press B to work on it. Okay, I got you. This car is really hard to navigate with, I'm not gonna lie. I wish I had some of the old movements, just to feel, like, comfortable in the game, but... No, that's, that's just not apparent. No cap. This Christmas. Spread love to Jesus. No cap in a. No cap in a. No cap in a. Ah, that jiggy that you won must now be collected from the Jigo van specific to Nutty Acres. Use your wrench to release the jiggy from the Jigo van and transport it to the Jiggy bank for safekeeping. This Christmas. I don't care! I, I just don't care! Is your nose square? The fans will hate it, you bug out bear! Well, I mean, no, no cap! Like, you know, it's fucking stupid! Like... 
Wait, what? 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 What am I supposed to do with this? Cap. Alright, that's cool. Ah, do you see? Banging your first chicky has opened another door. Act 2 of Nutty Acres. I think you've grasped the basics, so I'll leave you to explore. Chat, add to your jiggy count. Good luck, yesterday's bear. One last piece of advice. Defend yourself by pressing the X button to swing your wrench. Should you require any tips or reminders, Bottles is the man or the mole to see. Hell yeah, I got the Humba Racer! Yes! Yes! Fuck! Yes! Oh my god! Yeah! Alright! Yeah, fuck yeah! Oh, fuck yeah! Give me that shit! Give me that shit! Yeah! Fuck yeah! Um, what now? Do I talk to him? Alright, that's cool. I mean, at least, like, we get some new crates, you know? There's stuff all over this town. Oh, shit! That's- that's cool. Wait, how do I- How do I get up? Find grass bludges. Huh. I'm like basically relearning this game for the first time. Um, but I mean, it kind of feels like obviously uh, Tears of the Kingdom a bit. <laughs> I know that's a bit of a stretch, but I'm serious. Like, it kind of feels that way. You know, it's like okay, let's go grind for some shit. You know, let's go grind and find some shit. Like, basically, let's go get some shrines over the overworld map. And then we'll enter into the worlds and, uh... We'll go do it. We'll just go do what we gotta go do. And, uh, I, I actually really don't mind it anymore. Like, you know, when I was a kid, I had no idea, like, what to do in this game. And, like... You know, it was basically, like... You know, like, I just had no idea what to do. Like, I didn't know what this was asking me. But... You know, honestly, now that I'm playing it right now, it's just like, yeah, this is pretty chill, this is alright. Certainly not taking the fucking car everywhere, like, I just kind of, like, walking around. You know, and just, like, being Banjo. I wish you could do more things with Kazooie. You know, it just seems like, oh, well, that kind of sucks. Yeah, it's nice to walk around. Fuck the car. I want to be Banjo, goddammit. I don't know what that three is for. And we're just kind of walking around here. Oh, shit. What do I do to summon the vehicle? Kind of just learning things as we go along here. Yeah, I just really didn't choose to read any of the dialogue, unfortunately. Um, it probably would have definitely helped me out had I done it, but I just thought it was all pretty annoying, so I just chose not to deal with it. Uh, I'm pretty sure we can go swimming, right? It was actually Banjo that taught me how to swim, watching him do that dog paddle. Yeah, so this is it. This is Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. Uh, this is what inspired The Legend of Zelda. Nah, no, imagine. <laughs> imagine this is what inspired The Legend of Zelda. Terrors of the Kingdom. Terrors of the Kingdom. Uh, I wish I knew how to summon the vehicle. 
not entirely sure how to do that. And here is Bottle Boy, but I don't really feel like talking to him. I'm not fetching you a goddamn drink, Grunty. What are you just doing standing there? Yeah, I was just looking for, like, crates to add to the whole, like, thing, but... The problem is, is, like, I don't even know how to, like... <sighs> God. I just don't know how to get up, you know what I'm saying? Like... Like, he can grab ledges, but he can't get up. Like, how am I supposed to get anywhere in this game, bro? Like, go oh, with the car, but I'm just like... <laughs> how? Like... Where even is my car, dude? It's just gone! Oh my god. Oh, there's my car. Get in the car. Hey, I heard about the good news. Y'all sleeping on me. Uh, have a good snooze. Damn it. How are you supposed to do anything in this game? Driving sucks. I don't want to drive a car. This is Banjo and Kazooie, not Grand Theft Auto Turismo. Can't get up there, really? Oh shit. I guess I need like turbo jet engines or something to get up there. Mm, that means like probably can't get up here either. I want to get up on the roof, you know You know what I'm saying? Like, that's all I want to do, is just get up on the roof to get those notes. But I have a feeling I just really can't do that, can I? Like, you can't do anything from the old game. Like, this is fucking abhorrent. Shut up, Grunty. Hey, Wumba. Looking kinda cute, I guess. Blueprint by parts, oh shit. Laughing losers miles behind. Weird how it has to just like stop. Hump a cage. Cool kids shop at Humbas. Alright, well, look, we got three crates. Egg gun, Fulgore's fist. I don't know what any of this stuff does. I mean, can we add it to this? Oh, sorry, Mumbo. Just because I'm big doesn't mean I don't have feelings. Ah, get the. D ah, never mind. I 
thought you could just go in there. I didn't know you had to walk up to the door and press X. Yeah, it's just slightly frustrating, isn't it? Oh my god! Mm. But is it weird that I'm having fun? We'll continue this next time.